after birth and birthday cakes. It is time to say goodbye to Taishan. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. The teenager, by giant panda years at four and a half, is leaving home from the National Zoo in Washington. The 184-pound fur ball left the zoo at dawn, loaded into a custom-built crate. Tai is the first giant panda born in captivity here to have survived any length of time, delighting crowds. Now, he is breaking hearts, heading to the airport, going to China to breed. But the journey of the FedEx Panda Express started much earlier in Atlanta. Here, three-year-old Maylon makes the flight, coming from Zoo Atlanta, catching a ride to Washington, then a kind of carpool in the air to a distant land. This FedEx Boeing 777 freighter normally carries 200,000 pounds of cargo nonstop between the U.S. and China. But for this trip, just a flight crew, some zoo staff, and a precious cargo. Two giant pandas, pandas needing no sedation for the long journey. We call them our VIPs. That's very important pandas. Ty is loaded with care, a goodbye glance, going with plenty of bamboo and treats on board. The thing I'm most afraid of is that he's going to eat too much food and have a sick stomach. The flight will take 14 and a half hours across the Atlantic, northern Europe, into Chengdu, China, then several hours by truck to a panda preserve. Taishan was never really Washington's, property of the Chinese government, who eventually wanted him back. Oh, God. So he is gone, headed for a new life, hopefully making new cubs a world away. Lee Powell, the Associated Press, at Washington Dulles International Airport.